Hey everybody, welcome to another amazing episode of The Unbox Boys! I'm Dave, and as we are drawing close to the end of Season 1 of The Unbox Boys, I thought today might be a fun time for a behind-the-scenes video. Take a look at some of the toys that we've acquired over this first season. And uh, just, again, kind of a behind-the-scenes. This, for example, is where we film the figure reviews uh, out here in the garage. Uh, we have these uh, lights set up. Uh, all around just make sure it's nice and bright and the curtain there and the figures just usually kind of sit down in there and, and we sit here and let you know what we think about them so that's that area here and then over here usually behind us you can kind of catch a glimpse of some of these cardboard cutouts including a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle who needs a little cleaning and uh, from my friend Kent at uh, Dairy Queen <laughs> he gave me this uh, big Guardians of the Galaxy uh, stand up, which includes you know some of the custom blizzards there. Let's take a look at some of the toys. On this side of the voiceover booth is where the majority of my Chewbacca stuff lives, including the Chewbacca mom mask, <laughs> which does not fit me, and so that's why it's up there. <laughs> my face is too long. Uh, down here, just some miscellaneous stuff, uh, cars, fuzzies, uh, puzzle, and this thing here. Up here, the three and three quarter inch Chewbacca's along with some associated figures uh, from a variety of eras uh, over the course of Star Wars universe time. My favorite one, probably this one right here where he's sitting there, arms up in victory and the uh, classic Kenner one right there. Autographed alternate comic book cover autographed by uh, Peter Mayhew there, Chewbacca. Up there, some bobbleheads. Uh, this one uh, is a mug. This one, I think, maybe held Chewbacca underwear, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Pez, uh, some other things. Down here, a custom Peter Mayhew Chewbacca, three and three quarter inch scale. Down here, the Ralph McQuarrie concept Chewbacca. And then down here, we've got uh, the old school tall uh, Kenner Chewbacca. A little bit hard to come by nowadays, complete. And a variety of other Chewbacca's from Code Bakia, Figure Arts, uh, Unleashed. Got the uh, Halloween Chewbacca there, kind of dressed up as Wolfman. And uh, the most recent acquisition would be this old fuzzy boy here, which I had to brush out quite a bit so he didn't look like a matted dog. Up here in the voiceover studio, we've got uh, Ed Grimley. Uh, a buddy of mine cut that for me. Just uh, always makes me laugh. Then over on this side, if I can move things over, we've got... Uh, a little Star Wars Rebels section, autographed poster there from some of the voice actors, as well as uh, kind of the main team of figures there, as well as the uh, Sabine mask there. Then to the Axe Cop section, where we've got uh, the poster of kind of some of the uh, first edition, if you will, some of the early uh, heroes and villains from Axe Cop, autographed by my buddy Ethan. I think this one is even number one of however many he did. Yeah, it is. So uh, a lot of those, kind of fun. Some of the X-Cop figures up here with Rex, Avocado Soldier, uh, Dr. Doodoo and others <laughs> up there. And then uh, a few more Axe Cop things up there, some stuffed uh, figures. And the Axe right there. In this room, we have the autographed Rhett and Link poster looking for a uh, space on a wall somewhere, which I don't have right now. Uh, some various Star Wars three and three quarter inch figures and a Morgan Freeman from Robin Hood that kind of snuck in there, uh, right there. Up on this shelf, uh, kind of some pop culture stuff. Autographed Ray Harryhausen Bubo from Clash of the Titans. We've also got, uh, let's see, from Firefly, Captain Mal there, Michael Jordan, Christopher Reeves, Superman, some other figures, Men in Black including the dog down there. Uh, in the back there, just some autographed uh, pieces from uh, Katana, Star Trek, and the uh, much coveted San Diego, uh, or not San Diego, the um, Star Wars Celebration pilot Luke back there. Morgan Freeman there, Joker, Catwoman, and the classic Batman and Robin, uh, which I'm loving. Up here, mostly uh, Star Wars and Marvel hot toys and figure arts. We've got the Jawas, Yoda, Boba Fett over there, Han Solo and Carbonite on the wall. 
stormtroopers uh, surrounding Captain Phasma. We've done reviews of uh, many or most of these figures on the channel. Hawkeye, uh, Chewbacca there in the back along with Han Solo from A New Hope. We've got Iron Man. This may be my all-time favorite uh, Hot Toys sideshow figure, uh, this Ultron Mark I. There's just so many great details in this figure. I, just, I really love it. Uh, then we've got that two-pack of Captain America with this one and the one in the back there with Steve Rogers. We've got Black Widow, Ultron. We've got uh, Falcon and Nick Fury. And the Star Wars poster all up in there. This would be the main Star Wars Black Series uh, slash etc. area <laughs> here where you can see a, uh, up on the top shelf here. Uh, kind of hard to see, but you can see the Shadow Squadron bikers up there if I can get the glare off uh, the Comic-Con Jabba's Palace back there with Slave Leia hanging out uh, the K2SO Lego we've got the uh, Comic-Con Boba Fett with Han Solo in there figure arts Mace Windu and just a uh, variety of other little odds and ends Lego Grievous got that custom I uh, did a video of that a while back that custom painted old school Falcon uh, there Unleashed Tusken Raider, and of course the uh, Black Series TIE Fighter there, and the helmet. Dropping down to this level, you can see a slew of Black Series uh, figures. Trying to <laughs> kind of keep them organized by Star Wars era. It's a little bit tough though, but over here you can see some of the uh, Bounty Hunters, Boba Fett, Bosk, and others. A lot of the clone troopers there in the back, including that uh, new Gree there, which you can see the camouflage on. Uh, some of the uh, kind of prequel figures here, some of the Star Wars Rebels figures in there as well. Back in that corner, the uh, 40th anniversary figures, Stormtroopers, uh, some scenes with Darth and the Emperor, Darth and Luke here, uh, Pilot Luke back there, we've got this Luke, Cloud City going on. And down on this level, some of the uh, newer films, Force Awakens and Rogue One. Uh, kind of uh, placed wherever they'll fit, <laughs> basically. But you see a lot of the Force Awakens stuff on this side. Phasma hanging out there in the back and Kylo Ren. A lot of the uh, First Order troopers there. Chewbacca, R2, BB-8. Not R2, but uh, C-3PO, BB-8. And then over on the right side here, we're kind of transitioning into Rogue One. With some of those classic characters over here just uh pick this up from comic-con that'd be the uh luke with the speeder there in the box down here a variety of pop culture whatnots <laughs> from uh cars uh you know from back to the future james bond speed racer uh from 24 uh from lost back there uh, of course, Duck Dynasty, Lord of the Rings back there, Evil Knievel, Bruce Lee. Love those uh, Bruce Lee from Figure Arts. We've got uh, kind of the, the ones I have so far from Firefly. Some Star Trek scenes there in the back. Rambo, Mr. Bill. Just picked up this uh, Godzilla. It's uh, the old school one. Pretty much looks like a dude in a suit, which I love. And then uh, Rocky, because I'm Italian and that's just what you do. <laughs> so a lot of scenes from Rocky there. Over here we have the DC shelf uh, with uh, lots of your favorite DC characters. Batman, of course. Some cool scenes. This one from uh, Arkham Knights. Down here the classic Batman figures and some of the villains there. Down here, some of the uh, Batmobiles through the years. And there's uh, Catwoman there, riding the uh, Bat Pod. You can kind of see that. And that Dark Knight version of Batman there with her. And I've wanted a Bane for a long time, finally picked this uh, pair up. The only thing I don't like about this uh, set, well, they, weren't, they didn't come together, but they were kind of in a series, but this Batman should have come with an unmasked 
head since he is holding the mask, you know, broken. Bane is holding it on uh, this side. This Batman should have given us the option of having it without the mask. But, you know, what are you going to do? All right, down here we've got uh, Supergirl. We've got um, Green Lantern there, Martian Manhunter. Some of the Wonder Woman figures here from the film. And Superman down here. Along with this tall Superman who is standing guard. And then over here we have the Marvel shelf. The mostly Marvel shelf with a few exceptions here. We've got Warlock who is really still one of my favorite characters. Just so goofy looking and funny. Wolverine. Uh, the thing that <laughs> you're like, wait, that thing's not Marvel. Yeah, you're right. That's the uh, that's the Borg ship from uh, Star Trek Next Generation. I just didn't have anywhere else where else to put it. Silver Surfer. Down here we drop to the Fantastic Four section with a variety of uh, era figures from Fantastic Four. If you haven't guessed, I kind of lean more towards the uh, cinema figures and not so much toward the comic book figures in all cases. Down here. We have a variety of Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Captain America, primarily, with a few uh, bonuses in there as well. And dropping down here, some more of the uh, uh, Avengers. We've got Hulk, Thor, Loki, Doctor Strange, uh, Dormammu there in the back. Black Panther, Ant-Man. And down here, the Guardians of the Galaxy section with a lot of those figures from those films. And then at the very bottom of this shelf, uh, I mentioned before, I'm a Ray Harryhausen fan. And so a lot of, uh, this is from a company called X Plus, a lot of these little statues, figurines of some of the classic monsters and figures from Ray Harryhausen. And that, my friends, is a wrap-up of the studio tour. Hope you enjoyed that, taking a look at some of the toys we've collected over this first season. Be sure and tune in. Click that notification bell, because next Saturday we've got something very special for you, uh, something we've never done before to wrap up Season 1. Looking forward to it. Hope you are, too.